Hi, and welcome back. This is VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this tutorial, we're going to be continuing with our VFX core skills for beginners. So if you've been following through, we know that we've gone through almost the entire, well, most of the pipeline, not the entire pipeline, but um, uh, some of the core sort of skills that kind of will put you towards a sort of generalist sort of role. So we've got up to the point where we've modeled our asset and textured it and done all the bits for it, then lit it and rendered it. So now we've rendered off our sequence, we're going to take it into our compositing software. So you can use Nuke, Fusion, uh, Photoshop, you could bring this into Blender and use this in uh, compositing tools or Houdini's compositing tools. So it, it doesn't matter because we're not going to be doing like a full on compositing tutorial with like AOVs because we didn't render off. All we wanted to render off was the beauty pass. So effectively, this is just going to be like a basic slap comp where we will bring in our image sequence and bring in our render, then all then merge them and also reapply a distortion back to our CG, just so you can see the really basic process of putting it back on. Later on in the more complex tutorials, you'll, you'll probably end up rebuilding the beauty pass with all the AOVs and um, you'll have so much more control over it. But for the basics, we're just going to do a slap comp with the beauty pass and see how it looks, basically. So if you've been enjoying these, uh, this series so far, just hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help. Um, and thanks for watching and let's get going. Okay, so I've got Nuke open. Um, and like I say, you could be using any compositing software. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is just load in our footage. So you can press uh, tab and it will open up all your... Um, sort of nodes and you can type in R and it will bring up read or you can just type in R in here and it will read it in but I always find it nice to use the tab because it will bring it all up and it will remember your most common ones so I'm going to select read and this is going to open the same window so I'm going to go to so this is our folder set we have so bird box elements and bg01 and you can see in here we've got our tx files from our that's from our um, reference balls but we want our bird box exrs select open if you press one on that it now views it in then you want to change your uh, timeline to input so now that reads in at the input and if you press play you'll notice it will go quite slow but then it's sort of, you see this green line that's caching. So then once you play for it, it'll work much better then. But as soon as you move in the viewport, it'll recache again. Cool. So we've got our, our sort of hero plate. So now we're just going to go tab R or press R, read. And we're going to go to our renders. So I'm going to go back to our bird box project. And if you set this up, it should all be in the right place under images. And we've got Bird Box Asset Final V08. And it should be the same frame range. We'll select Open. And I'll just press 2 on that as well. So now we can see that we've got our Bird Box. Let's just minimize this. Because we're not going to be doing... We're not doing lots down here. It's mostly uh, so we can see it. So we can look at our render. We can press Play and cache it through. We'll see how it's looking. And looking at this now, I kind of wish we did spend a bit more time doing the nails because they look a bit rubbish. Um, but it doesn't matter. You can spend more time on it um, and we won't see it that close. So you can sort of see that it's it's all working. It's looking pretty good. Like we're never going to see it this close anyway. So we can sort of see the motion blur doing its sort of thing ever so slightly. It's not moving loads, but it's enough to blur it out. Cool, so we're not going to be really compositing this. It's more of a slap comp. So I'm going to press tab, type M for merge. I'm just going to keep typing merge and select merge. And this is basically an A over B. And it's exactly what it says. I want this to go over that. So I want A to go over B. So now if I press 1 on that, and I can get rid of my 2. So now our viewport, our viewer is looking through here. So now we can see it's it's just literally it's where slap com comes from because it's just slapped on top. But 
we're missing something from here. We're missing because this is distorted image. So this is not undistorted. So this will need to have so our render will need to be distorted to match. And, and you it's not you won't notice it very much, but it will it if it's not matching that well, it will slide probably a little bit. So we did export our nuke LD node out, so sometimes you might need to update. And hopefully you can get the, the nuke LD plugin kit from 3D and it's it's free, you can download. So if you press tab, if you type in LD, you should have these. And these are the free plugins you can get off the the um, the three D website, and I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a link in that into the description for that as well. So I find it easier just to open up my file and check where all my stuff is, and I've got my bird box LD node. And you can click and drag, or you can file insert comp nodes. I find it easier just to click and drag it. So we've got our distortion node here. If we double click on it, we've got all our distortion values here and our direction. So we want to distort our footage. So if I put this on, I'll click and drag this over the connection. You can see it's actually made a very little difference, but if we press D and turn it off and on, we can see it, it shifts ever so slightly. And this could be the difference between it. You can see how much that's moving there. This could possibly, because the distortion is central to the image, and say like we've got a circle here and it's bending out around here. As the camera moves, the distortion effectively doesn't move, but you're getting different variants of the, the central sort of barrel distortion and some quartic. So it will be different because it's sort of radiates out throughout the plate it's hard to explain but um maybe I'll, I'll do a tutorial and showing how that sort of works but yeah making sure that your distort your footage is this your cg is distorted is really important because then that helps it from not slipping so if we now press play this will probably take a little bit longer so if you do want it to go faster you can change your one-to-one because -one, we're seeing it in 4k we can do it in half. Hopefully if we press play, that should go a little bit faster. And you can sort of see like it's sort of matching. It's um it's not perfect. We we're lacking some integration of the CG on here, but like I said, this was never a um, tutorial on how to do the integration or anything like that. It was purely just to get something in shot, make it look very close um to the plate. And just getting a nice quick project going straight away. Cool, so that's looking pretty good. Seems to be working, obviously this is some, it's, the biggest problem about this right now is not any of, it's the integration. So we really, we could paint some stuff onto here in Nuke, but I don't want to do that. We can do that in a different tutorial, but um, it should be pretty good. Even the it's it's all sort of matching pretty well. Just press F there, and on our merge node, we do have it just on over. And if we look at the difference between some of the other ones, oh, let's put it back on over. We're looking at this. And it's super basic. We only want to do an over on top. I know there's other other methods we can do with um, pre-multiplying and um, pre-multiplying it, but that's a, a much different tutorial. So I'm not going to change anything else in this. I've been yabbering on pointlessly for too long already. This is effectively all we're going to do in this shot is this. So it's probably a good idea to just sort of just press play and just let it cash through and just double check it's not doing anything crazy. In fact, it'll probably take, won't take very long to render out. So I don't want, so I'm just gonna press tab, right, and click and drag that over. 
And if you double click on it, it will open up our properties for our right channel. And you can see it sort of stacks over the top. So if you don't select the merge, it will sort of select down. But if you want it on top, double click. And you can clear all these out just by clicking this little line up here, then double clicking and you have one. But this sort of remembers the history of what you've clicked. So it's pretty useful if you're using similar nodes. So I'm just going to go to my file. And I'm going to make a file in here and I'm going to call it slap comp because that's all it is. It's not really a comp. I'm just going to select this and I'm just going to copy instead of typing it out again. I'm just going to copy that. Oh, control V. I need to make sure uh, we'll call this uh, slap comp it's not vo8 it's the first slap comp we need to make sure that you put dot four hashes dot exr because we want it to render out a sequence i'm going to click save and this will render out our resolution i'm just going to change this back to one just in case anything strange happens and i'm not going to change anything else with this really i'm not going to put any grain on it or match it i think it's fine for what it is for a slap comp we're not doing anything complicated so all I'm going to do now is leave all this as it is. We don't need to change anything and just select render. Then I'm going to render out all the frames. I select OK. And this might take a little bit of time, so I'll probably fast forward through this or just skip to the end. Cool, so that's now finally done. And so what we can do is just press tab, read. And let's read in. It should go into our where we rendered off anyway. So we can just read that in and press one. And let's press play and see if we get... Ooh, it's still got the... I forgot about those bits on the end. We don't need that, <laughs> obviously. That's... Uh, it's quite interesting to see. You can see the, the shadow mat on there, but anyway. Obviously we don't need that. But we can play through. And it's all looking pretty good. Cool, so yeah, we're pretty much done now. So what we can do, we, we can you can either grade it in here, you can play around with um uh, a final grade or add a look to it in here. Um like I say, you can change your sRGB and your view and look, but um, I'm, I'm probably going to bring this back into DaVinci and just see what um, the, the black magic look looks back, putting the black magic color um, look back on top of it, see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much done. It's a very basic, it, it's not even really a compositing tutorial, it's a slap comp of just bringing your uh, footage in and then bring in your render putting the distortion back on to the, the the render so it matches with our plate distortion doing a basic merge and right it's not really compositing but it's a slap comp saying so you can just quickly get out to check your work but anyway if you've enjoyed this tutorial um hit that like button and subscribe for more like this